I think many people choose their caravans on the basis of the number of beds, the layout inside and possibly the colours of the upholstery. I'm going to take you on a little trip now which looks at one or two other points and these are really quite important. These two caravans here for example on the front, this one has one big large picture window. In contrast, this one has one, two, three windows. What's the strength and weakness? Well, this tends to cost a little bit more in the factory when it's built. This one is less expensive, but if you did get a stone fly up and cause damage, you're going to have to have a complete new window of that size. Whereas when one of my caravans had a stone fly up and hit here, it was only the bill for the small window. I know from experience that these front panels, when you feel the back of them, there's a rough part and that indicates it's made of fiberglass or to give it its proper name GRP. We all have little accidents and mishaps and if this was to get knocked and split, a good caravan repairer, a good car body shop repairer or even a boat builder could make a patch repair look very very successful whereas if the front is made of ABS plastic, as this is the case here, smooth on the back, yes. If the stone or the damage occurs here, then all of that would need replacing. There are even many caravans now where the whole lot is ABS plastic. When I'm looking at the sides on this caravan, this is fairly traditional and Aluminium skin has been used for many years, but what if you have a little bit of an accident, a little bit of a bump? Well, it's impossible to push aluminium back out, it stretches. And a bad case is if this textured piece gets damaged, because you can't recreate the textured finish under normal circumstances. So the whole of the side will have to be reskinned. That's one reason why some of the more recent caravans, like this one here, are going to a fiberglass skin which is very very thin and if there's a dent or damage a good fiberglass repair specialist is able to make good to match spray it as opposed to the need for replacing the whole blooming side. Similar issues need to be taken into account when you look at the back of a caravan. There's a tendency nowadays for many, many of the upmarket caravans to be finished with a one-piece panel that goes right up to the top. Yes, but wait if somebody bumps into you at the back or maybe you reverse into a post and there's damage, then it means the whole lot has got to be replaced. Now this is a new caravan and it has a join across here. And I see that frankly as a benefit because if we have this unfortunate situation of damage here, it does mean that the repairers only have to get this replacement piece. On a final note, some people particularly like the idea of buying an imported caravan. You have to recognise that if the manufacturer is in a country which drives on the right, very, very often you'll find that the door is on a different side. There is another issue to bear in mind too, when you bring in imported caravans you sometimes find that the kitchen is designed very very differently. The oven might be small for example, and I've seen some which don't even have a grill. Haven't they discovered the joys of toast? <laughs>